We've had a lot of rain the last 24 hours. Lots of standing water in the field across the street. Lots of puddles in our own yard. We've got some tiny baby zinnias coming up. So excited. Such a good girl, Gretchen. I planted some more tulips today that I got at Walmart. They were so cheap I couldn't pass them by. Everything's starting to grow. I still have some cleanup to do in my beds in the front, but I don't want to uncover too much yet because we may still get some hard freezes. Lunch for the little boys. This is what I got today in the mail. I'm super excited. Bunch number two. And I believe there's 50 in each bunch, give or take. It's a rainy day today, so it's a perfect day to just um, do stuff in the house. I have a lot to do outside, but there's not a lot I can do today. So, it's okay, because there's no shortage of stuff that needs to be done in here either. <laughs> I'm trying to get all of my seeds started that really should have been in like two weeks ago. So today I'm finishing up with all of my lettuce and cauliflower, cabbage, broccoli, and a little bit of spinach. So get these going. I'm coming. Hi Eva, are these your babies? What a dreary day. It has been just misting all day long. Everything was so wet and muddy, and we had one set of goats, newborn twins. <laughs> one set of twins were born today, and then the other set of twins that were born just a couple days ago, we could not find them anywhere. We searched all over in the rain, in the mist, and finally found them way back hidden in the back corner of our storage area of the barn that does connect to the goat area and they found a way to get in there and they were both just hidden away under pallets and different things that were in storage back there. So we got them out and we went ahead and just locked up all the goats in the hay barn for today at least until the, the rain and the nastiness is done. Um, Gretchen for some reason likes to have her babies hide in the most obscure places and every time she has babies we have to go around searching for them because we never know if something got them, you know, an animal, because there are some signs that there's dead animals around from something. Something is killing uh, chickens, and we found a dead possum laying out there, and a wild rabbit that was killed just laying there, so just strange things, and we don't want to take any chances with our tiny little newborn goats being killed and carried off, so anytime one's missing, we spend however much time we need to find them. And they're usually always Gretchen's babies that it take the longest to find. <laughs> Alright, so I've got all of the seeds started for this week. Hopefully by next week's update I will have some little tiny sprouts to show you. So tonight we're having one of our homegrown chickens, but this is a very small one. So we're also going to have some smoked sausages. But we've got martial arts to get to, so I'm going to throw this in the oven 
and my teenage boys will be here to check on it.